For these students, like GW High School senior Anthony Manger, it's not the classroom he's used to, but it's the classroom he prefers. Here it's, it's more professional and it's more like you're, you're held as an adult. And I, I like that. I like being seen as an adult and not as a child anymore. These students on the cusp of adulthood are here at the GCA Trades Academy during the Christmas break to learn a lifelong trade. Teason High School senior Cody Mendiola saying it's also an opportunity to make up credits. For me, I needed uh, the credits for it and I just saw it on my counseling stuff. Manger sharing those thoughts. Essentially it was for, to make up credits because I, I just wanted to walk, I wanted to graduate. But as I'm here now and it's how it's, the experience here is actually really great, the people here are very nice. Now these high schoolers are excited to step into the road of construction. One student with her foot already in the door is Tizen High School senior Ilirose Nakayama. Honestly, the, the experience was out of this world. Everyone was so nice. They were so... They welcomed me, they helped me. She's following her dad's footsteps. Her dad, Chris Naroon, is a former student with the Trades Academy. And I told her from the get-go, you know, like, when you go to the trades, it's nothing like high school, you know, like how they mentioned it, it. They treat you like an adult, you know, and you actually feel like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're an actual an adult. And then, you know, so she was like, wow, you know, can I take this? I'm like, if you wanted to, yeah. So she just kept going. I'm, pr I'm proud of that. Naroon, proud of her daughter, who successfully completed the courses last year. Another alumni is JFK senior Morgan David. It was a lot of fun having to do a lot of the work with wood. Everything like measurements, it just helped me with a lot of focus. GCA Trades Academy instructor and program administrator Elizabeth Aguero adding that these two alumni helped build 120 planner boxes over the summer that were donated to Guahan Sustainable. So they, they, they took whatever they, were, they learned and um, not only did they build life-size playhouses as well, that they had to also take apart because it took up half of our warehouse over there, um, but they also built um, over the summer in a matter of six weeks um, the 120 planner boxes plus the two life-size playhouses. The current students also looking forward to receiving a National Center for Construction, Education and Research certification, which will reflect the skills that they learn. And as Mendiola put it, Help us get a job faster and uh, be more experienced outside in the outside world and stuff like that. The high schoolers will conclude their training on December 30th. Matsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.